Welcome to Profiling Evil, The Public Record by Mike King. I was extremely troubled when a call to defund police became a popular discussion point in cities around the world. I, I thought of Aesop's fables and the morality lesson that we learned there. Be careful what you wish for. It seems we may be revisiting a lecture that was given in about 260 BC. Well, take a moment, hit the subscribe button and make sure you're getting all the notifications, but let's open an investigation. On the hills of the assault at the U.S. Capitol this week, police and politicians are casting blame. The Capitol Police Chief has now stepped down. The Sergeant at Arms has resigned. There are going to be a lot of discussions about where the breakdown uh, occurred. Should it have happened the moment that outer barrier was uh, breached? I think so. That's when the Capitol should have been locked down. To date, over 80 people have been arrested so far, and the count continues to climb. Now, the last time the Capitol was breached, folks, was 1814. This is absolutely unacceptable behavior. Five people have died, including a woman who was shot by Capitol Police and a Capitol Police officer. In this melee, more than 50 police officers were injured. You know, this terrorist event is a perfect example of where law enforcement needed to be able to do their job and protect not only this national institution, but the very lawmakers we've elected that were inside. But in this case, I believe law enforcement was ill-backed or ill-prepared to stop the mob. The police may have acted much differently a few years ago. We need to carefully examine both sides of the issue. You know, could this have been de-escalated as easily as our Monday morning quarterbacks are suggesting? I, I don't think so. Here's what I do find interesting, though. Since the call for defunding has risen in the past 12 months, so has the violent crime rate in America. Vox recently reported that the Council on Criminal Justice reports that homicide rates have increased dramatically in more than 21 cities across the United States. Yesterday, Fox News reported that New York City's experienced a 97% increase in the number of shootings last year. That's double in one year's time. How is this acceptable to anybody? Now, <clears throat> I'm all for trying new things, but the data flowing in shows that we're, what we're doing isn't working. Maybe it's the way we're doing it that needs some tweaking. I, I don't know. But when you have cities like Chicago showing a 56% increase in murders, while Atlanta is showing increases of 58% in murders, we got to stop and, and reevaluate this new strategy. Just look at this map from Fox News showing the spiking murder rates across our country. This is absolutely unacceptable. And murders aren't the only felony crime increasing. Burglaries, robberies, auto thefts, they're also on the rise. What's causing this? Now, some suggest that the increase in violent crime is a result of the pandemic, while others point toward racism as the problem and politics, or some overall desensitizing of the, the global family. I, I don't know what the answer is. I don't think that we can discount any of those possibilities. But we can't blame it solely on politics. And I really like a tweet that I read by a crime analyst named Jeff Asher. Asher showed that America's murder rate is up over 36% over the previous year, and it's equitably distributed between Democrats and Republican-based cities. This isn't a political issue, folks. This is a human decency issue. This needs to be a year where we all learn how to be a little bit kinder and a whole lot more inclusive. Now, I, for one, hope that this crazy pendulum swings back in support of backing our police officers and ending this era of defunding. By all means, we've got to become better than we've been, but we've got to stop this madness. Well, here's my question for you. Do you think defunding the police is the answer? 
Secondly, what would you do to solve this problem if you could? Thanks for listening. I'm looking forward to reading the chats below and seeing what you think. And we'll see you soon on Profiling Evil.